Deborah and Craig are proud homeowners who love their backyard pool. The problem is, they say the roots from a council tree are cracking the pool and council refuses to foot the bill. They were desperate, so they called us for help. They've just said they have no liability and they're not interested in helping us. No, the tree root's still getting bigger. It's, it's not stopped growing. For council to say it's not their responsibility and they've got so many trees, well, that's a cop-out. That's nonsense. It's not OK. We pay rates. Cracked and riddled with blisters. This used to be Craig and Deborah Fruitneet's backyard oasis. But now it's nothing but an eyesore. And the couple is drowning in council red tape. If you're in the pool, you can feel it. It's like a speed hump right across our pool. So it's not going away. They say these tree roots on the other side of their boundary fence on council land are to blame. They're what we can see. They're, that's just what I've dug up. So there's probably way more than that. The couple bought the Gold Coast property four years ago <laughs> and say the pool was a major draw card. But in February this year, they noticed a bulge in the fibreglass at the bottom. So we rang Gold Coast City Council straight away because it's council land. We expected that they would just come out, see the tree, sort it out and uh, address the problem. Despite yeah, contacting no council time multiple times, calls. the fruit yeah, needs say it wasn't until months later that an arborist was finally sent out to cut down some of the trees. But they say because the trees have only been lopped and not poisoned, roots are re-sprouting, making the problem even worse. There's a big crack in our pool. We're losing water. It's broken the pavers. It's broken the pavers over there. There's tree roots at our kitchen window. You know, you look at a pool that's dropping water every day and, and a crack getting bigger every day, and um, it's not, not really the, the picture that I had in mind after, mm. after four years. Gold Coast City Council has told Craig and Deborah it won't accept liability and refuses to pay for the damage. The couple has also approached their insurance company but were told tree roots aren't covered under their policy, so they should take it back to council. We've provided the quotes, we've provided the building inspector's reports, we've approached our insurance, which is what they asked. We've jumped through all their hoops. The couple says council hasn't even come to the property to inspect the damage, which would cost more than $50,000 to fix. At the end of the day, council owns these trees. They're there, the council has to maintain those trees. And if they've let those trees grow and the roots have gone in underneath, um, that's council's responsibility. That's the view of Shane Bowering from Red Tape Busters. His advice is to speak to the mayor or a councillor directly. The other thing that the, that the people could do, the residents could do, is do a right to information application and try and find if council have previously funded or compensated somebody for tree damage. Having been ratepayers for 25 years, all Craig and Deborah are asking is for the council to be reasonable. And they won't be going down without a fight. So if they just keep ignoring us and hoping we'll go away, we're not going to because, you know, this is our pool, our property. Um, and it needs to be fixed. And since we got involved, Gold Coast City Council's now poisoned the tree roots but has made no contact with Deborah and Craig. The couple says the cracks in the pool are getting worse and the water is still leaking. And yes, we'll stay on the case.